Good evening. I am Reverend Chris Krellgard, and I am the pastor of the Lutheran Church of Our Savior in Owen Sound, Ontario. The congregation is a member of the Eastern Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada. Welcome to the third in our Advent Vesper series. Over the course of the next three weeks, we will be providing a short midweek service that focuses on waiting, preparation, and longing as we anticipate Jesus' coming into the world. Each service will begin with a brief dialogue. You are invited to respond to each call with the words, Amen, come Lord Jesus. The Spirit and the Church cry out, Amen, come Lord Jesus. All those who await his appearance pray, Amen, come Lord Jesus. The whole creation pleads, Amen, come Lord Jesus. Our service continues with him, the hymn, My Soul Proclaims, which is number 251 in the Evangelical Lutheran Book of Worship. You are invited to sing verses 1 to 3 with the members, with members of the LCOS choir. If you cannot sing along, you are invited to enter into a time of reflection. time, I invite you to join me in prayer. O key of David and scepter of the house of Israel, you who open and no one can close, you who close and no one can open, come and rescue the prisoners who are in darkness and the shadow of death. Amen. Our service continues with a reading from the 42nd chapter of the book of Isaiah. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Our second reading this evening is from the third chapter of the book of Revelation. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These are the words of the Holy One, the True One, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, and who shuts and no one will open. I know your works. Look, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I am coming soon. Hold fast to what you have so that no one may seize your crown. If you conquer, I will make you a pillar in the temple of my God. You will never go out of it. I will write on you the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem that comes down from my God out of heaven and my own new name. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. I would like to offer the following for reflection this evening. King David is a flawed character who overestimates the power of his good intentions while concealing his bad ones. Perhaps we too think of ourselves as better or worse than we actually are and deny the power held over us by the things that drive us. A Messiah called by the name Key, someone who can un unlock us from our patterns, our ruts, and our denials. Someone who can let out the whole truth of who where we are. Someone who can find us knocking at the wrong doors and lead us home. That is a Savior worth knowing. you are invited to reflect during the following Taze hymn. You may also join the choir as they offer the hymn Deep Peace from the hymnal All Creation Sings.
our service continues with the litany. O Most High God, you draw near to us in Advent shadows and light. Hear us as we pray for all who are in need this night. The response for each prayer is, Lord, have mercy. For all who are captive to suffering, grief, or sin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the lonely, the exiled, and the imprisoned, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who long to see the face of Christ revealed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Now receive into your hearts and into your lives the blessings of our Lord. As the night grows longer, may God draw you into mystery. As the days grow colder, may Christ invite you into stillness. As twilight grows deeper, may the Spirit open the door for you. And may the blessing of the Holy Trinity, one God, rest upon you as you await the advent of our Lord. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is near. Thanks be to God.